Okay, everybody. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. Are there brown people in the room? Yeah. Yes. Oh, my God. It makes my heart so happy. 35 years in the business, and finally, I get to see the beautiful brown faces. Finito. Yes. Thank you. Okay. So we'll talk about why we're here. The force to be reckoned with, Gloria Calderon. Kill it. Yes. Gloria has been behind some of the best shows to hit our television screens in the past two decades. Devious Maids, How I Met Your Mother, and One Day at a Time. Yes. And most recently, the wonderful show, if we do say so ourselves, With Love! With love. A producer, creator, showrunner, director, and actress, educator, ambassador, and leader, singer, dancer, probably a juggler, walks on fire. Yes. Uh, yes, Gloria does it all, and she does it all beautifully. Uh, she's a graduate from Loyola Marymount University, and later obtaining her master's in theater from the University of London. She is, like, so smart, it's unbelievable. And let me also add, she is superhuman, inspirational, brilliant, a proud daughter of Cuban immigrants' parents. Yes, Cubana. Her witty and relatable take on life, love, and comedy is all over our magnificent show with love. And it's the first series out of her production company. Yes, she has her own production company, Glow Nation Studios and Amazon Studios. So let's watch a clip and see some of Gloria's work. It's our great honor to present the Producer Award for television to our dear friend. The wonderful, the magnificent, the fabulous, the superhero, Gloria, Gloria Calderon Kellett. <laughs> job. I don't know. Thank you, Constance and Benito. That was so beautiful. Thank you so much to the Critics' Choice Association for this incredible honor. Thank you to Amazon, specifically the amazing Vernon Sanders for showing up. Thank you to my incredible manager, Mark Provisero, who's always here, my ride or die, uh, allowing me to make not one but two beautiful shows with a diverse cast at, at Amazon. With Love is now out on Amazon Prime, check it out. Woo! And The Horror of Dolores Roach, starring the magnificent Justina Machado, will be out next year. And of course, One Day at a Time uh, still lives on, on Netflix. Uh, to have been a producer, a Latina producer, with three shows that have Latinos at the center of it in non-stereotypical roles has truly been the greatest joy of my career. Because it's been a journey, y'all. And I remember before any big meeting, I used to call my mommy all nervous, and she would say, Glorita, because she's Gloria. She's the OG. I'm Glorita. And she, um, she would say to me, Glorita, you walk into those rooms with the line of your ancestors, with their hands on your shoulder. So you tell me, what's your name? And I'd say, Gloria Calderon, kill it. Louder! Gloria Calderon, Ke Coño Niña, your abuela needs to hear you from heaven. Gloria Calderon, kill it. Okay, that's right. Now make sure they don't forget it. And when times were tough, I would center myself on my why. Why must I continue to fight for my voice to be heard? And that was easy. My family. It's my grandparents who sent their children off to the U.S. in the hopes that the people on the other side of the water would be kind and they were. It's my parents who came here with a suitcase, not speaking a word of English, and sacrificed to send me to school and showed me that this country was mine too and to take up space within it. It is my children who deserve to know and celebrate the culture and community I love so much the music, the food, the joy, 
among the struggle. It is a joy to make shows that center on my experience and the experience of other underserved communities. And it is my sincere hope that in representing my story authentically and telling the truth, I am being of service not just to my family, but to all of the voiceless that are starved for representation. I started out as an actress and I realized very quickly that people on the other side of the camera did not always look like us. And it showed. And after one too many auditions as gangbangers' girlfriends saying things like, Chewy, put the gun down, orale. Literally direct, <laughs> direct quote from something I auditioned for. I realized that if I wanted to see change in my lifetime, I needed to be over there. I needed to be holding the pen. I needed to be hiring the people. And as a reminder, we are 20 countries under this umbrella of Latinidad. No one story or one show can possibly heal all of the years of erasure. But with the excellence of one, hopefully, there will be more. Which is why we must demand that Hollywood make stories not about us without us. It is not a coincidence that the stories that have had the greatest impact culturally are the ones where we have been the ones to tell the story. And I can tell you that there are a lot more incredible Latino voices out there ready for their moment to shine. So I close with a call to action. Get loud, mi gente. Take space. Walk into those rooms remembering that you are being held up by your ancestors and demand to be heard. And like my mother advised me, standing tall, tethas out. I am going to keep showing up loud and proud. Porque coño, my name is Gloria Calderon Kellett. <laughs> and I am going to keep showing up, and I'm going to keep making sure that my voice is heard. And I encourage you all to join me. Thank you.